In this segment, we'll show you how to freeze guard a Titan 575 to keep any damage from occurring during cold weather. So the tools that will be required to freeze guard are a recirculation adapter kit. Part number is 000078058. The standard fresh water garden hose adapter that comes with your machine. We'll need a high pressure solution line, a short segment of hose that will fit the barb on the end of your water box drain, the appropriate safety equipment, which in this case will be chemical resistant gloves, safety glasses, and ear protection. Some type of accessory that you can use to flush the system with. In this case, we're going to use a high pressure wand. And you'll need a couple of containers that you can capture the solution in. For materials, we're going to need two gallons of phosphate free universal type antifreeze in a 50-50 in a mix. So you can take one gallon, divide it into two and fill the rest of it with water, each one of them with water, to achieve the 50-50 mix. And we'll also need the blower spray lube, which Hydromaster recommends. It's an LPS product called TKX. You can buy that through your distributor. The Hydromaster part number is 000087006. Again, this is the only lubricant that we recommend for use internal to the blower. So let's get started. The first thing we'll do is put on our safety equipment. We're going to take our short section of hose here and we'll place that onto the hose bar for the water box drain valve. In order to freeze guard your machine, you need to drain the water box completely and I should say also that you want to disconnect the incoming water line before you begin this procedure. This is a procedure that should be done at the end of the day after you're done cleaning. Uh, again, if there's any fear of cold weather, it'll protect your heat exchangers from freezing, which can be very costly. So it'll take a few minutes to drain. And while we're doing that, We'll take the time to set up our recirculation kit adapter, which has a garden hose type male connection on one end. And we'll thread that into our standard garden hose adapter that comes with the machine. Just a matter of screwing those two items together. Okay, and then we're going to connect that to our solution hose. which will then connect to our incoming water port on the front of the machine. And then we'll connect the other end of the solution hose to one of the outgoing high pressure solution ports on the front of the machine. That way when we pour the antifreeze into the water box, it will cause it to flow out of the machine through this hose and back into the other side of the machine. Once we do that, we're going to allow that antifreeze solution with the pump in the no heat position to circulate throughout the machine for two to three minutes. This will ensure that that antifreeze solution gets distributed throughout the entire solution path of the machine. When we're done with that two to three minutes time of circulating, we'll stop the machine uh, pump, not the machine itself, but the pump. Then we're going to use the vacuum system to purge the chemical side of the system by removing it from the soap jug container, which actually we could do that now. And we'll turn the valve to prime, which will cause the vacuum system to draw that chemical out of the chemical side of the system. 
and that'll keep that side free of any water and solution and stop it from freezing that way. Looks like we've got a few more minutes to go here on our draining. So while it's still draining, we'll remove the cover from the top of the water box, the back of the machine. And I've got some antifreeze already mixed up here at 50-50, so we're going to use that to backfill the machine. Okay. And when we conduct this procedure, then after we've purged the chemical system, we're going to spray our blower lube into the blower port, and then we will disconnect this recirculation hose from the inlet side connected to our wand and then we're going to flush all of this antifreeze solution that we can get out back into one of these containers. When we do that, it'll empty the water box and the machine will shut down against the low water float in the water box on its own. We won't actually have to turn the machine off until once it dies, then we'll go ahead and shut the rest of the switches off. take about 15 minutes. And you want to make sure to recapture all of this solution due to the EPA, EPA and the environmental regulations that vary state to state and county to county. But to my knowledge, none of them will allow you to put that on the ground. It looks like we're about drained out, so we'll go ahead and shut that off. Close the valve, we'll remove the hose from the hose bar here. Move this container aside for now. Okay, then we'll go ahead and fill the water box with our antifreeze that we've got mixed up here already. And we'll reinstall the lid so you don't have any antifreeze splatter out onto the top of our machine. Okay, and we'll go ahead and put the uh, rest of our safety equipment on here to start up the machine.
a couple of things worth mentioning. You might have noticed that while we were circulating the solution through the machine, I did move the pump from pump on no heat up to pump on heat mode and switch the selector valve from the warm position to the hot position. While there's no requirement for the machine solution to get hot while it's circulating, we do want to make sure that we distribute the solution throughout the machine through all the heat exchangers and plumbing in both sides of the circuit. So that's why we did that. Other than that, uh, that's how you freeze guard a machine. And uh, that concludes this segment of the Titan 575 freeze guarding video.